Hi, it's Bernard Nomberg with the Nomberg Law Firm in Birmingham, Alabama. We're doing a series of videos for the public to address multiple issues dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic that are employment related. And a question that we got today was, what do I do if my employer will not provide me with personal protective equipment, PPE, to deal with COVID-19 in the workplace. The employer expects me to keep working. How do I handle this? Well, this is a very real scenario that unfortunately way too many people are dealing with at the present time at the end of March. In no particular order, here are some thoughts that we have on how to deal with this. Well, first of all, if you're an employee at will, or, or not, you're always free to walk off the job. Now, there may be repercussions. You may lose your job, or you may have union issues you may have to deal with. But if you are knowingly being forced to work in an environment, such as a healthcare worker, such as someone who deals directly with the public, you've got to make a personal decision on how to deal with it. If you want to continue working but they won't provide you PPE, get your own. Be proactive. You could take paid time off, take some vacation time, maybe the dust will settle, so to speak. Go up the chain of command. Most businesses, especially right now, they don't want to be shut down or have really bad publicity out there because they're suffering from this, the COVID-19 outbreak at their workplace. Talk to people. There's also potentially OSHA issues here. The Occupational Safety and Health Organization, that the administration that deals with work safety, has very specific guidelines about maintaining a safe work environment. You can always make a report anonymously to OSHA or contact an attorney who can help you. Other than that, there's not a lot of great uh, responses here. Uh, I do know that the National Labor Relations Act, there's a section in there, even in non-union settings, it permits workers to act in concert concerning conditions of employment. In fact, I think that's going on right now with some of the large uh, employers in this country where people are starting to speak out. You may have other rights that are being uh, violated and you may not even know that so maybe consulting with an attorney might help. Ultimately we can't make that decision for you. You have to make it yourself. It's a personal one. We don't know your financial situation. We don't know the environment entire, entirely that you're dealing with. However, gathering information from good sources and talking with trusted people will help you make that decision that's best for you and your family. The court of public opinion might be on your side in this situation. However, that doesn't always necessarily mean that there's a violation of the law in the workplace, though. If you have this scenario, if it's confusing or you want to talk through it, just give us a call at 205-930-6900 is our office number. Nomberglaw.com is our website. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and tell us why. And if you didn't, we want to hear about that as well. We can be found on other places on the internet, such as Facebook and Twitter.